Bob, when you're playing a guy who's killed people, as you just did, and it's a real, based on a real-life mm -hmm. man, is it good for you personally to find the goodness in him, or is that a dangerous proposition? I, I don't think... I mean, he was a guy who happened to have seen a lot of combat in the Second World War, mm. so he was a little... He was inured to killing more than anybody, someone else. And he found himself in this world that was not what he was from, and it fit. And he uh, was loyal to the people that uh, gave him the love and support and uh, respected him. And, and um, so that's how, and then he was, in, then he had a big conflict, um, which later on, not to give it away, but <clears throat> that was the, the whole thing. But I, I think the whole story, the story is very simple. Uh, you could find that kind of situation in any, uh, culture, loyalty, betrayal, love, uh, all, all those things are there. It, it, the price in this world is a little more harsh, um, but, you know, that, 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 and maybe not so in certain parts of the world. I mean, this is, this is what happens. So we have it in this country, in America, in that, in that, that milieu, that culture. It's, it's, it's uh, what it is. Um, so your loyalty in the, in the movie to your to your work, it was very interesting to see how it affected your home life and your daughter. And yes, the movie. yes. That, that was what, what was very interesting and different to the fact that you know a person would love you for what what you do and how much you believed in, in doing the right thing for the guys you were employed by. Right. And that, but at home it was affecting the the family and it's, it's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. <laughs> I went um, last year to the Harry Ransom Center. I don't even know what that is, but it's the archive at the University of Texas, which has great papers. And there are Bob's papers. And to actually see your handwriting on, you know, the Raging Bull script. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing because your scripts are, are covered with notes. What was the toughest character you actually had to prepare for? They're all different. Depends. Depends. Some some are harder, and, or in some ways than others. And raging bull because of the weight and all that, and the mission, just the physical stuff. Awakenings. There's a lot of mm. physical stuff too, and mm. studying how my character behaved and what what his affliction was. And then raging bull. I read the the book. Somebody handed me the book. One of the authors, and and I read it while I was doing once. Um, in 1900 with Bertolucci, and I, and I, and I called <laughs> Marty from Italy, and I said, you got to, you know, the, the book's not great literature, but it's got a lot of heart, mm -hmm. and I kind of want to do certain things. I remember I used to see um, Jake LaMotta. He, he'd work in a kind of a strip place mm -hmm. right on 7th Avenue in the 40s. He'd be standing right out there near the mm -hmm. sidewalk, and he was overweight and this mm -hmm. and that. And I said, Jesus, look, at, look what happened to him from then. And, mm -hmm. and, and I thought just the graphic difference uh, being out of shape and then being a young fighter, really, uh, that was interesting to me. I thought, you know, I'd like to see if I could really just gain that weight wow. actually mm. and, and do it. So that was my the interest in it. Marty had his reasons, and both of us just come together on the, the project. And, um, yeah, so. If you could go back to your younger selves, mm -hmm. what piece of advice would you give him? Well, I was saying something to my grandson the other day because, uh, you know, that things just become, when things are going well, become. Don't think you're on top of the world in mm. the sense you always got to be wary because mm. I've seen it. I've seen people come. I've seen people go. I've seen them come. I've seen them go. You got to be chill. You got to, like, just take what's good in your life and move forward cautiously and carefully and and thank god that you that you have that mm -hmm. just it's very very important not to to overextend yourself when you when you think you you know you got to that's no such thing mm -hmm. everybody's dispensable um, i'm sure you know this anecdote dying is easy comedy is hard mm. <laughs> true or false Comedy's more difficult, yes. Yeah. I can't do what uh, Billy Crystal does, Eddie Murphy, uh, you, uh, Adam, but I can do other things. I mean, I like to think that I work in 
uh, say in Marty's movies, just situations that are funny in and of themselves, um, which is like life, you know. Hey, I'm Charlotte LaBeouf. Hey, I'm Jamie Foxx. Hi, I'm Tom Hanks. I'm Adam Sandler. Thank you for watching Hollywood Reporter Roundtables. Roundtables on YouTube. On YouTube. I think that's the one right there. <laughs>